So in today's video, we're going to replace the rear seat box section that we looked at in the last video <clears throat> that we cut out when we were doing the floor pan. You'll see how I've repaired that. It's quite simple. I'm not an expert. I don't pretend to be, but it's something we can all do. If you're repairing a car, if you're restoring a car yourself, the, the, the uh, process I've used to do this, you can use on your project. It's, uh, it's fairly simple, fairly straightforward. It didn't take very long, it took about just over an hour or so, I guess, to do, to do it from start to finish. So you'll see how I do that and keep watching, you'll see the end result and it's, it's quite presentable, it's, I'm quite happy with it. Next challenge is to reinstate this seat box across here. Well, I'm hoping it's not going to be too bad because there's not, it, there's not a hideous gap there as far as I can tell so far. So first thing I'll do is take, take this and clean it up and see what we got. I'm hoping it's just going to be a couple of minor repairs on it and reinstate this um, flange, spot welding flange across the bottom here. So let's get it cleaned up first and see what we got. I think the first thing to try and do is straighten up this mess here and then we can somehow then fix this down to, to give this a good cleaning up. It's been there. Mangled for some nefarious reason. See here where the floor pan repair, previous repair, use the word repair loosely. It's gone over what would have been the original flange there. So if we can get that off first and then see what we can do with all the rest of it. Right, so we're looking at a flange about the thickness of that there, which is handy, which is what. 15 millimeters all the way around so what I'll do I'll cut a strip when I get to it after cleaning all this up I'll cut a strip 15 millimeters and long enough to cover all of that and then <coughs> what we'll do is we'll tie that down into the car where this should be screw it down into the car and tack it to this and then come back to it but first thing we need to clean this up and clean up all this mess along here. Let's see how much we got left. Yes, that's revealed some nasties along there, so you might be looking at taking a little strip down there as well. What I might do is go check on the car. That looks like most of that is straight, so we could bend a, a flange to go onto the bottom of there. Right, let's go have a look at the car. Yes, most of that is straight along there. So, <clears throat> I think we'll have a plan B here, is make a, make up a, a strip as a flange along there, and look out, if we can get it to 
join just below these presses. See that needs a weld uh, a repair there. I'm trying to save these pressings. It's going to be a, a help if we can. All right. Let's make a, a flange for that before we cut too much away. Right, let's just put a bend on that and see where we end up. Right, I reckon we can work with that. <clears throat> right, that'll give us a line eventually to cut off, but we'll leave, it, leave that meat on there for now. Right, I think I'll, uh, I'll slip this down there. The idea now is to basically follow that bay loosely up around there. Let's try that in the car. Right, so you can see just about in the corner of the shot there the uh, existing piece of um, box frame. So this flange now will continue down along and fix it down under there with some tech screws and so we can get the shape of it and then overlap that with the box. Right, well the first thing I've learned here is that's not a 90 degree bend on there, so we need to get a, let's get a grip on there or something to bring that up to the street. Spanner will do a nice job with that. Right, so if I get my box action now, we'll see how we're looking. So now we sort of get the basic idea what we're aiming at here. Of course you want to trim this back now with a suit. So trim this rubbish off of here next and then uh, see where we're at. cleaned up you can get a better idea of what we're hoping to achieve so of course what we're looking at is lining up this this corner here with what's existing and over here with what's left of the original one on there right what I'm tempted to do rather than trying to but well this in the, under that is actually get some spots into there and then on the other side we stitch it across in between the uh, pressings and that's gonna be a little bit of strength I'll probably trim this trim this a little bit better to suit but we do have a bit there to to repair anyway
Hey, worst case scenario is we can cut the tax off and start again, but this is basically what we're looking at. Right, let's take it off and see what it looks like. over the bench now and do a bit of uh, shaping on this before we go any further. Right, this looks really ugly at the moment, but it'll come. Need to get a bit of, bit of shape into it. So this stage it doesn't look particularly pretty, but if you start to get the idea now here, as I'm starting to grind it, just get the shape into it. On this side, <laughs> looks horrific. It, it, if this was flat along here, this would be a lot easier. But because we've got these shapes in it, which I don't want to lose, and I don't want to mess around with pressing new ones. This is the simplest way around doing this. Yeah, so I shall crack on now with some welding up some more. And then we'll look at repairing this corner here, which will involve a bit of shaping and messing around with. But it's coming bit by bit, as usual. Tickle away at it bit by bit. So here's the next lot of uh, welding. So you can see now starting to build it up. Now, rightly or wrongly, I kind of view my welder as a bit like a 3D metal printer. So where you've got gaps and where you've got holes, you can use the weld just to build it up, and then grind back. Like I said, rightly or wrongly, but it, it, it works for me. And that mindset has kind of altered the way I do, do weld things. So I'm gonna grind this back now and see where we're at and then perhaps start making a, a, a start on this area here. Right Joe, this is not coming too badly now. Certainly I'm not going to put way too much effort into this, it's a part which is mostly um, unseen. That could be a little bit tidier around there, but I, can, I can live with it. We've got a return flange to put on this yet and down there and this section here to sort out. So this is the section we'll focus on next now. So cut a piece out, we'll involve a bit of shaping around that and see how we get on. Right, 
Right, so it's sort of looking like that sort of shape to be pushed into it. I wonder if I can do this over here like I've done before. All right, so using a blunt chisel, let's see if you can get the shapes you want. Rounded for that corner now. So if that will do us. Sort of the idea. Let's right, see so if we can bounce that, that bit back in. That way. Right, flatten it all off too much. Got a shape to it. Let's leave it too squared off. And around those corners off a little bit more. my gloves like a sandbag. Right, I think we're getting <coughs> somewhere with it. it. Needs to be a bit a little bit more defined. Right, so we're getting the idea. What I think I'll do now is trim it up to fit better and then weld it in place. And then once it's tacked in the high spots, we can start then moving it around even better. Square it up a bit. Right, so I've got my little uh, repair section made there so that'll fit into there now I messed up there top a bit of a corner off there but we can fix that now and so what I want to do now is tack the corners on the center high point there and then start bringing it around a bit of hammer for men to bring it into shape Right, you're getting closer. Just this little bit here to sort out. Tidy up. Right, let's tidy that area up. Right. So we've got a little uh, hit nib to go in the corner. There, I'm gonna find my magnet. thinking <coughs> why is he just blast that in he's, he's not leaving it cool uh, it's a nice sharp edge it's not an area I'm overly worried about looks wise and it's certainly not a facing body panel so I don't don't over worry about um, distortion with that because it's going to be such a small amount in this little area it's, it's negligible <coughs> Oh, 
Right then, let's get grinding and tidy that up. Alright, so that's it welded up. Let's get the grinder in there now and see if we can tidy that up. And then we'll look at putting a return flange on this side. Alright, well, it's not perfect, but it's presentable and strong. So, let's just do a quick test fit in the car now and then we'll look at making the return flanges for over there next. Alright, so we're fitted just so the tech screws back in place. <coughs> this is all quite nice over here, all lining up nicely, quite happy with that. So we've just got over here now to add a flange to there. Now, <coughs> what I'm thinking of doing is putting putting a bend on a 90 degree on this, holding it up against there, scribing it in against that, and that'll be flange number one sorted. So the idea now is a little bit of angle, tip it up against there, and scribe it off. So hold that tight against there. that down there, slot that in, tack it in, and happy days. One more flange done. Right, so that fits snugly into there now. So let's get a couple of tacks on that. Right, I'll take this off now and weld that from the out from the, the back side down, grind it off, and we'll go on to our next one. Which should just be a little tab there actually, I think we'll probably do that now. Which is just a tab. Like so. So I got easy. It's time to get this in place. I've put some Halfords Well Food Primer all the way down here. I've punched out my holes ready for the plug welds, and I've also primed the underside of this. So it's just a case of slotting this into position and welding away. Get the tech screws in to hold it. Let me just start it. Lovely. Right, I think the First place I'll get a weld on is over in this corner here. So we can keep that lined up. It's nice and flush there and there. So it's just a case of get a tack in there so that holds that in place. Attacking it. Uh, I think the next thing we're going to do is find the closest holes here and start welding these down. 
So that one's quite close, so let's get that one first. Right, that's all my plug welds done. So all I need to do now is seam weld along these. Here, so that shouldn't be too terrible, it says. And same down this side. Right, you might be thinking to yourself, well that's a pretty ugly weld, and you'd be correct, but that's what a grinder's built for. Right, let's attack it with a grinder, with batteries on it. Right, swap this out for the cutting disc so we can get into the corners and stuff. Okay, so that's revealed a couple of spots that need going over again. Right, that's looking half about now. So I'm gonna get the grinder now to clean off the rest of these plug welds. Right, there we go. All back in place. And looking like it never left. So I'm quite pleased with that. That's uh, certainly put the strength back in there as it should be got the job done so the next job now <clears throat> will be sill on this side and then we're getting a bit closer got some finishing off to do around there as well so we're getting closer to getting the car up onto a rotisserie it's got some repairs to do on the other side Put the strength in the shell and uh, happy days we can start building a rotisserie all right again thanks for watching please subscribe and hit the like button and all that malarkey it does help enormously the old uh, youtube algorithm depends on that for it to work apparently so uh, the more you do that the more it helps the channel and the more we can do brilliant cheers